Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marika and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can have fresh basil for the rest of your life without having to pay a single penny. So let's get started. So the goal of this video is to turn a plant like this into cuttings with an amazing root system like this. And I'm gonna show you how. So all you need for this tutorial is a basil plant that you just get from a supermarket. It doesn't have to be organic or anything fancy, just get a regular one. Unless of course you want it to be organic. And then we will need a sharp kitchen knife. And later on a glass filled with water to put in the plants. So how to find the best plant for this project? If there's more than one strong and healthy looking basil plant in the supermarket, look out if there's more than three levels of leaves. And optimal would be if on the lowest level of leaves there are already baby leaves coming out. As for the kitchen knife, choose the sharpest one you can find in order to make a really clean cut so we won't crush or destroy the plant cell system. So let's get started. You take your bush of basilicum and then we want to look where is the best part to make a cut. So take your stem of basilicum and look for the second level of leaves from the top and right underneath of that you want to make the cut. Make it a clean cut and then remove the bigger leaves and put it right away into the water. We don't want it to dry out. To pick the best stem Look for one where the difference between the first and the second level is the longest. Because the shorter it is, the harder it will be to put it in the water. So all you have to do now is wait. We want the roots to develop not just the primary root system, but also the seminal and lateral roots. So this glass, as you can see, is three weeks old, but the longer you wait, and the better the root system is developed, the stronger your plant will be if you plant it. Additional, the plant does not just grow a root system, but it also grows higher on the top. Both of them had one level of leaves in the beginning, and now it has more than four levels. So this in comparison is a one and a half week old plant, and you can see the root system is not quite as developed. And this is a trick for all of you who tend to forget to water your plants. Just take a piece of cling film and wrap it around a glass filled with water, poke little holes in it and then stick the plant through the hole. The cling film will hold the plant in place and by covering up the glass the content of the water stays pretty much the same and you can even go for a trip for a week without having to fear to let your plants die. So for the final step of this video all you need is a little bit of newspaper so you don't make such a huge mess. Then of course a pot where you want to transfer the plant into. Make sure it has holes so that the water can run through and you're not drowning your basil right away. Of course some soil where you want to put the plant into. And of course your basil with the root system and make sure it's really well developed because that increases the chances of it really growing and prospering. <laughs> so start by spreading out your newspaper and then start with covering the sides of the pot with the soil. Break down all bigger parts and remove bigger pieces of stone or dirt that might be in there. If you got all the sides covered with soil, you can start carefully separating the basil cuttings and make sure that the roots are completely covered by soil. And make sure you leave enough space between the basil cuttings so they have enough space to grow. Then cover up the top with the soil. Carefully secure the soil by pressing down a little bit on the sides. As a final step, water your soil until it is completely wet and the water is dripping out. Okay, 
and then you're done. So that's it for today's Infinite Basil video. And if you liked it, then I'd be happy if you leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more sustainable hack videos in the future. All right, until then, see you in the next video. Bye.